$1 thrift store finds and turn them into, well, something that looks more expensive than a dollar. Okay, the first thing you wanna do with your glass vases is you're gonna soap them, soak them in some warm soapy water and you're gonna get all the stuff off of them that who knows is lurking around, Who whose hands have been on this, ugh. So wash them well, warm soapy water, rinse them, let them dry. The next step is to use a bonding agent on the glass because you need something to uh, for the paint to adhere to. So I'm gonna use a product called Slick Stick. I'm gonna paint one coat over the surface. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna come back and paint a second coat on, let it dry, and then we'll be good to go. Now that the slick stick has dried on the glass vases, we're gonna create some texture with a product that you may have heard of called Plaster of Paris. It's a drywall that used to create texture on walls, but it works on most surfaces just like it would paint. So you can paint over this. So what I'm gonna do is I took probably a half a cup or so, I put it in a um, disposable container, this little styrofoam bowl, and then I'm gonna add some water to it and we're gonna create a paste. Looks like this needs to be painted too. It's, in, it's gonna be painted as well. I'm gonna mix it up. mix it well. I like to use tongue depressors, aka craft sticks. They're cheaper by the way. If you purchase them on Amazon, like 500, type in uh, tongue depressors and you can get them really, really cheap. Okay, once it's mixed up, now is the time to apply it to your glass face and create some cool texture. No lumps. You're gonna need some gloves for this part because you don't wanna get this stuff on your hands. It does wash off with water, but use your gloves. And don't wear your good clothes or your good watch. <laughs> Cover it up. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to paint over the glass and immediately it starts looking like pottery. I love all the texture this is gonna create. Just slather it on there. Put it all over your piece. Don't have to be perfect because we can paint over this, right? Just get it on there. I'm gonna take it all the way to the top. All right, so once you get your texture on, see how I just slathered it on? Also, don't, don't do the bottom. There's no need to, nobody's gonna see it. You're gonna let these set and dry overnight. They're gonna to need to dry really, really well before we add paint to them. Okay, these have been drying overnight and um, come back in and before I paint them, they were a little rough for my like. So what I did was take a, a fine grit sandpaper and then just kind of sand it over the surface just to kind of knock off any of the, the harsh little sharp edges and make it a little smoother. And then it'll be ready for paint. I think that looks more better. Okay, the next step is we're gonna paint. So I just picked up some Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint and I'm gonna do white. It's totally up to you the color you wanna use. I'm gonna do white because I'm gonna do another color um, to kind of accent it with. My colors in my home are very neutral, so white it is. So I'm gonna give it a good coat. I'm gonna let it dry. We're gonna come back with a second color and then we're going to put a little accent on it. Um, 
This vase too, I didn't put texture all over it, just at the bottom, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint this as well, white, because I do want the top to be white. I think I want to have the bottom a darker color and then the top a lighter color. Okay, now we're gonna start playing with some colors. I chose a pine cone, which is a beautiful brown, and I'm just kind of dabbing this over the white. You can do this a couple of ways. You can do it while the paint is still wet and you can blend the two together, which I did on another vase, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Or you can um, let it dry and then accent what you want with a darker color. And while that's wet, go back in and kind of play around with it and blend the colors together. All I'm doing is dabbing paint. That's all it is, and it's super fun to sit and create. This is kind of like mindless, mindless creating. Can you see how that was quick and easy? And I'm going to take some lighter colors. Like, let's see. I'm going to, we're just going to focus on these two colors, I think. Just the, the white and the brown. And then I can go in and actually tap into that darker color and make a third color. Just playing with it. That gave the top kind of a highlight. It's really pretty. So just keep playing with it till you get the look you want. Let it dry. And you've got a beautiful vase. Let me show you the one that I'm working on now. This one was done while it was still wet. And then I took the darker color. And I still can take the darker color and then go back in and tap over that. Just creating a look that looks like old clay pots. And I like that this one is smooth up here and then it's clay down here. Just tapping, that's all I'm doing. Bringing a little bit of that down into this white and then I'll go back with some more white and then just kind of blend that together. And then I think I'm gonna take a little dark and put it around the bottom just to give it a little contrast. Nothing hard or scary about this. It's just a matter of blending paint by just dabbing it up and down. And if you want to do some dry brushing over this, you most certainly can. Just kind of play with it and get the look that you want. Maybe I'll dry, some, dry brush some of it up into there too. I like the way this is looking. And a third color. I decided to wouldn't enough. So I'm gonna go with some black. This is actually Copy Bean by Dixie Bell. And again, I'm just dry brushing it on the areas that I want to add a little more black, like at the end of the paint, kind of dripping down on this. It's already looking like Pottery Barn to me. Love it.
Okay, so I got them all done. Let me show you. The first one. Isn't it dreamy? I love it. And the second one. This one has a lot more texture on it, but it's still very, very pretty. And then the last one I think is my favorite of all is this one. It looks like it only has texture on the bottom and I took uh, the edge of the tongue depressor or the craft stick and made little lines in it. Isn't it beautiful? I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you go out and find some thrift store finds and paint away and make you some DIY Pottery Barn inspired pots.